former Chief Security Officer to former Head of State, General Sani Abacha, Major Hamza Al Mustafa, has said he has forgiven those who persecuted him 15 years ago. It will be recalled that the former security chief was arrested and detained over the alleged murder of Al Haji Qadir at Abiola, wife of the of late Mashoud Abiola, but he was subsequently discharged in 2013. Speaking at an interactive session with a Christian group, United Christian Leaders Eagle Eye Forum in collaboration with 40 Christian pressure groups nationwide, Al Mustafa disclosed that he had forgiven all those who persecuted him 15 years ago. While in detention he said there were 11 attempts on his life, but it was God who saved him from the hands of his persecutors for the offense he knew nothing about. The former CSO told his audience that for the period of 15 years he was persecuted unjustly. There were 11 attempts on his life, but he got divine intervention. I have forgiven those who persecuted me for 15 years of incarceration. During those periods when I was being tortured, I saw Jesus, I was given water to survive. Al Mustafa said. Also read, Uni donates new building structure to orphanage home in Abadan. He also posited that there was a weighty information he gathered while in prisons with some Boko Haram members, saying the insurgency was just the creation of some elites. He was quick to add that the herdsmen, farmers' clashes were a deliberate ploy to divert Nigerians' attentions from the reality on ground. They brought a good number of Boko Haram members, 138, to stay with me in the prison. The information these Boko Haram members revealed to me is too weighty for me to tell Nigerians. I learnt a lot from these Boko Haram members. I was surprised how they get arms on daily basis and to me, it is dangerous to arm a detachment of terrorists and refused to arm the army, he added. The former chief security officer described Nigeria as a country that crown and honor thieves, calling on Nigerian youths to rise up and fight for their rights as enshrined in Chapter 4 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Commenting on restructuring, he noted that that restructuring should start with a law, saying that the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria was defective from the start because it was created to set some people.